Welcome back to Vex Weekly. This week on Vex Weekly, we'll be talking about two major bots in the community. One, a newly developed robot that was had a reveal posted only a few hours ago about a bot that can hold lots of blocks while also scoring very efficiently. Also, a new type of intake that could change the game, the S intake. This week on Vex Weekly. Starting off with the S intake. I've been requested many times to talk about this specific intake, but yet it was not until recently that videos had come out that I have seen of the S intake and of the S bot. And how does it pair up against these other intakes? Well, let's take a look. So as we can see here, it can hold lots of blocks, a very big benefit to this intake. However, it is majorly lacking in efficiency and speed of scoring. As we can see in this video, the blocks can get caught up in certain parts because of those tight turns it has to make to snake around. Now, this is a very efficient if you wish to score a lot without having a big chamber in the back. You want to use the full bot to its full advantage, you want to use this. But if you're trying to score very quickly, this is not the way to go. For that, I would rely on either the change-up mech uh, or the front-to-back. This is just not the way to go in that. As far as where it ranks with those two and the shotgun, I'd say it's more on par with the shotgun, both having their defects and their um, reasons of not using it. But I think if this is the way your team wants to go, definitely looking like an innovative award's coming to you, definitely looking like you can use it to your advantage. You get out the kinks, you could definitely use this in an actual match. Our next robot we have to talk about is the newly developed bot using the meta of change up and uh, chamber in the back. Now this chamber, can hold 20 blocks, but that's not what's impressive because there have been many bots that could hold more than 20. As we can see in this video, what is very impressive to me is the speed in which it goes from the chamber and up and the speed in which it intakes. I've seen the chamber be used several times, but this one's definitely the quickest I have seen yet. Is that I think this is going to be the early season is this change-up style with a chamber in the back. It just looks like what most teams are going to use. That would be the early season. Front to back also seems like a popular design. There's definitely been different variations of that, but this seems to be working the best. Now, the speed in which, if every team can do this, this could be a really good design. The speed, it goes out and over and in. It like that. It's so quick, and it works very well, as you can see here. The other thing is there... They had the way they designed it. Now the pistons move up. I'm pretty sure that's an expansion thing, not necessarily a technique, but I could be wrong about that. I think that the the way they have their intake and how fast it's structured and how it can score on middle and top goals just very quickly. They have the LTC Little Will Mech, and that's obviously working well for them. And then the one thing that's really special to touch on. Um, and I think a lot of people have seen this, is the way they use their poly. They have decorational and they have functional. The functional is with this intake, it can bounce up. Instead of having your whole intake move up because of you um, don't tie the screws all the way, the screw joint, this works better because the, the whole intake can be more sturdy. It's less likely to get bent while the intake still can bounce up for those blocks. Now, the only thing with this is this is really good. Now, is it super necessary? I think that's the question. Due to the fact that these blocks are really light, the amount an intake needs to go up is very, very low, well, if any, because of how light these blocks are. Um, with the rings that we had last year, they had some weight to them, with the tri balls. The blocks don't really have the weight, so it, I don't think bouncing up is necessary, so I don't think if your team does not have a CNC machine or a Glowforge or something that can cut poly using a program, this is, unless, if, unless you want to try and hand cut, this is, should not be what you try and do because hand cutting will lead to this just not working well. 
And I honestly think that you'll be fine if it does. If you just have it at the right angle, it should all work out fine. Um, but this bot exhibits the true meta of this change of style intake. Well, just take it to its max. This takes that style and perfects it. And that's why this bot is very good. And I think all teams should look to this bot and say, let's do that. But if there's another style that you want to try, Go for that as well. If the S shape intake is talking to you, then go for it. S is not going to be the most beneficial, and uh, might not, but might lead to some innovate. However, this changeup with chamber is definitely shown to be the most beneficial and definitely the way to go. Anyways, we've seen some great bots, and that's it for today on Vex. Twitter.